obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, the flow behavior passing through a porous medium is simulated. Studying fluid flow in porous media is one of the most widely used fields of science. A porous medium is made up of mostly perforated materials and contains pores and void spaces within itself. Various body tissues, such as the skin, bones, kidneys, and lungs, can be considered as porous medium. Porous media are widely used in a variety of industries, such as food, oil, textiles, building materials, insulation, filters, and membra membranes. In this project, fluid flow through a porous medium with three different porosities is investigated. The fluid domain consists of an upstream flow domain, a porous medium domain, and a downstream flow domain. The geometry of this project is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler and is meshed in ANSYS Meshing. The type of mesh created for this geometry is a structured and the total number of elements are 35,017. In the open window, you may see the domain extents or the maximum value for each coordinate based on your geometry. On the view length unit, you may choose from different units available in this window, from meter, foot, inches. In the scaling part, you are able to change the mesh dimension based on your meshing software geometry you've used. For example, you've used uh, the meter dimensions for your mesh. You can go ahead and change the scaling factors to meters. Or you can change it into whatever units you want. For example, you can change it into feet, to inches, and so on. You may double click on the display dialog box and a new window will appear, which, may, which gives you the ability to choose between the different parts of your geometry you want to show in the Fluent software. By double clicking on the energy under the models tab, a new dialog box will appear. The two equation k epsilon model with the use of a standard role function is used in this project for analyzing the turbulent flow since it is robust, economic, and has a reasonable accuracy for a wide range of turbulent flow. Our main material for this simulation is counted to be the air. By double clicking on the air, a new dialog box will appear. In the next section, the values for viscose and inertial resistance are needed. From the theoretical perspective, porous media are modeled by the addition of source term to the standard fluid flow equation, which is composed of two parts, viscose and inertial loss term. In laminar flows, the pressure drop is typically proportional to velocity and the values for inertial loss term can be set to zero. And of course, at high flow velocity, the value under inertial loss can be viewed as loss coefficient along the flow direction. Stationary motion and adiabatic condition is defined for all the wall type boundaries. After clicking on the initialization button, a new window will appear and you can choose between two methods of initialization, hybrid initialization and a standard. In the standard method, you will be able to choose and set the value for different parameters of the flow field based on your idea or actually you can choose from the compute from drop down list. These values refer to the values used in the first iteration of the simulation process. You can go ahead and choose the all zones so that the software will automatically calculate the values averaging from all the zones. In this section, the pressure, velocity, and velocity vector contours are presented to you. In the 3D pressure contour presented to you in this slide, you may see how the pressure drops after passing the porous zone medium. Just like the 3D pressure contour, you may see the pressure drop here in the 2D pressure contour as well. In the 2D velocity contour, you may see that the velocity value near the walls are equal to zero, which enforces the no slip boundary condition.
finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.